Exactly. You are a bit of a celebrity in Vegas, right? I hear you've been on multiple magazine covers and you're kind of well known around the place. So tell me about this. Is this true? Well, well, like, you know, on a good day, I like to claim I'm a professional BMX bike rider. Okay, but okay. after seeing that, I want to be a dancer. <laughs> so I'm just saying. But yeah, I've been fortunate enough that Seven Magazine last year made me one of the most intriguing people in 2013. Wow. Uh, I'm in the cover of Las Vegas Men magazine for the summer issue, so it's on nice. uh, shelves right now, so it's pretty surreal. And, uh, you know, I was lucky enough that I have a reality TV show called The Real Carla Laguna Project that showcases a Hispanic kid coming to America with the American dream and uh, showcasing Las Vegas and the hurdles with my family that I have, which I'm pretty <laughs> sure you guys know about reality TV, so yes. you get some of that. I love it. And, and are you keeping a scrapbook of all those kind of magazine covers? Well, you know, <laughs> about that, people make fun of me when they they come over and visit at my house because okay. they say it's like the Ricardo Laguna shrine. <laughs> but when I first moved out of my parents' house, uh, I found the scrapbook and it was under my bed, so I completely forgot. Aww. And I said, why put photos of trees or, or you know, whatever mm -hmm. it could be? I decided to put photos of my coverage and old bikes <laughs> that got retired. I love it, I love it. Okay, okay. So moving on, you organize a pretty big extreme sporting event in Vegas every year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've been doing it, well, I've been doing it for 11 years, but okay. the event is going for 19. This March coming up is going to be two decades, so it's wow. pretty surreal to say. Uh -huh. It's the largest music action in ports that invites everybody, not just the young kids that do the crazy stunts on BMX, <laughs> skateboarding, or okay. rollerblading, okay. but we have great music, great food, and the whole nine. So it's a family event that uh, it just keeps continuing growing, and it's at Desert Breeze Park. You can get all the details at extremething.com, but it's going to happen uh, March. Uh, they haven't released the date, March but it's going to be in 15, okay. 2015. Okay. And this is, this, is this a Guinness record of like... Well, well so it is level. because uh, it's crazy to say I've been doing it longer than X Games, BMX Dirt Contest. Okay. So next year is going to become the longest BMX Dirt Contest in the United States. <laughs> so it's pretty surreal that this community is helping me uh, push this event to, to do such a wonderful thing. That is a huge nudge to Las Vegas, so I think we should all be proud of that. And thank you for organizing like, hey, that no, no, hey, for so long. It's mi gente that's helping me do this, which <laughs> actually is another thing that uh, I kind of nibble away. Mm -hmm. I uh, teamed up with a good friend. I mean, mine, Angels, Camilla, and Artem. We kind of like said, hey, what can we give to a Hispanic community? And, and a light bulb went up. And I was like, let's mm -hmm, do a Hispanic mm -hmm. festival. It's really, really I, uh, cool. I've been working with the county for 11 years. Let me ask you if we can rent the amphitheater. Okay. And uh, they said, as long as you don't catch it on fire, we trust you, <laughs> Ricardo. Let's do this. And uh, it, it was actually pretty surreal. Before the event happened, John Lee, the mayor of North Las Vegas, mm -hmm. I've been living in North Las Vegas since I was 13. I'm 32. I'm terrible at math. I've fallen my head one too many times. <laughs> okay. So too long. Okay. Um, so he said if we can actually put it at Craig Ranch, and I was like, well, I already signed up to go to uh, mm -hmm. the Clark County Amphitheater. So uh, just before the event even happened, I already had great foot traffic That's in. Really and cool. uh, we had great ambassadors that support everybody here mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. And we're looking to hopefully do it again next year. So awesome. tune in for that. You can go actually go to HispanicFestLV.com. I didn't even have to prompt you. You're just like, like two go with the phone. Really? <laughs> oh. awesome. I, and I was being attacked by a You're mosquito or something. Job so easy. OK, so, so to finish up, you have something going on August 10th, right? Yes, August 10th. So I've been a huge ambassador for Nevada SPCA. And uh, they're doing, we're actually buying everybody here. It's going to be a Sam's Town. We're doing bowling. But wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm sorry. Keep it I'm down. Really I know excited. you're excited when I'm we really talk about cats, about cats and who knows what else. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we, uh, they asked me if I can give something and they can auction it off. Okay, and, uh, okay. and I said, are you kidding me? Of course. Anything for you guys. So I'm auctioning off a come and watch myself and a couple <laughs> pros <laughs> in my own personal backyard. Okay, okay. And guess what? Whoever buys that is going to help Nevada's PCA nice. to help all the pets, not just cats. proceeds, right? Right, yes, 100%. I don't even take anything. I have to work hard to help the community. <laughs> yes, there's going to be a couple kitties. And I heard you, you were actually looking at one cat in particular. I was. The, her name was Anastasia. And she what was color was she? Beautiful Russian blue. And then mm. someone nabbed her before me. So maybe oh. I'll have better <laughs> luck at NSPCA next time. Well, August 10th, well, you know, Soundstown, we can bowl. Help Nevada's PCA and possibly find a new cat. That's going to have to happen. We're going to put her in the hot seat. I don't think she's going to show up. <laughs> I'm going to have to show up now. I, I can feel it. Let's creeping on and come up to Vegas, yeah, we in this bitch. Tweet, tweet.
your followers Remember like a flashback Vegas Tech Don't forget to spell it with the hashtag